Hello, hello, friends. Welcome to Maria's Musani, where in this video I am participating in an open collaboration that is hosted by Sherry of Turquoise Streaming and Susan of Susan Hiles Art. And um, I had actually, this is the last week they're doing it, is the third week. I wanted to do it the first couple of weeks, but I just didn't make it. I just didn't get around to it. And uh, But I have some time here, so I wanted to jump in here at least on the last one. And what it is, it's an, a collaboration where we are, who are participating use our crafty stash and we explain how it is that um, the items we're using were a thrifty find or a great deal. So what you are looking at is, uh, and this week the um, theme is beads, charms, and clasps, right? So what you're looking at is, first of all, these are uh, like lobster claw style clasps, but they're really key rings. As you can see, they're attached to a key ring. Um, and they have this swivel um, clasp up here. And I got these recently, a couple of weeks ago, at a um, at a little rummage sale that uh, a community was having. And I think I got all of these for, I don't know, less than $2. Maybe a dollar, a dollar fifty, something like that, or maybe less. Uh, but anyway, I do have that haul on my channel if you want to try and go back and, and, and check check on it. And then I also have all these beads. Now, these I have acquired throughout the ages <laughs> here and there from different sources. Um, they're a crafty deal now because they're in my stash already. I haven't gone out and bought them. But a lot of these were bought, um, you know, through... Uh, thrifting or maybe uh, taking apart necklaces and things. I remember I definitely took this one apart and things like that. So what I wanted to do today, super simple, is just combine some of these and put them into um, a little keychain so that there's something that can be used. So obviously maybe the larger ones or maybe combining some of the smaller ones. And, um, you know, I had put these together to use as charms on my um tassels or you know little paper clips for um maybe you can do that too for journals and things but i thought why not maybe put some on these little key rings i already did one and this one all i did it's a beautiful butterfly and you know it was already um it had the loop at the top so all i did was actually just thread it through here so i'm going to do another one like that let's see if there's another big one like that maybe this one look how pretty that is okay so all i did was grab i mean this is like ridiculously simple i mean because i already did this part this part was just a matter of putting um some beads on this eye pin here and now i have this little little keychain there now if i didn't want to make it into like I did, if i didn't want the keychain portion of it i could also just take the keychain off of the swivel clasp here all together take it totally off and just put it on here so ooh, how about this fun little frog but ah but to do that then we need a little what do you call it um jump ring and guess what i don't have my jump rings hanging they're down in the car and i'm i'm not i can't go down to the car to get them right now so get this i was looking around to see what i could use um, I didn't have the right wire, and then I thought, oh, you know what? What about paper clips? We all have paper clips, right? So I looked for the just the plainest, not the big one, but the plainest small paper clip that I could find, and that's a gold one. I wanted just a regular old silver paper clip. Here we go. Okay, and I thought, I bet that will work. So that's what it did. I just pulled out the wire, strained it out a little bit grabbed my round nose pliers and went ahead and just curled it around and I like to do it twice just for security it's a little bit you know safer so it's more like a split ring almost like a little keychain right and to make sure that it's not and I'm squeezing them together that it's not going to um, come apart now I also don't have uh, any pliers any cutters with me handy so guess what? I'm just going to go back and forth on this wire until it breaks by itself. Now, the only thing with this is, got to be careful, is this might be sharp. So I want to make sure and turn it in so that it's not going to, like, hurt anybody. 
and uh, maybe use a little sand, a little, what do you call it? Um, what do you call it? A nail file or something to file it down, but I'm, I, it doesn't feel like it's bothering anything. So here it is. So I have this little tiny split ring that I just made. And I'm just going to thread my little um, my little loop here through here. It's a little tricky, so I'm gonna use the pliers to help me. <laughs> just hold on to the thing to the. Okay, now I'm gonna just put it through here, and basically just kind of force it through all around. And I'm going to do the same thing. I probably want to open this up a little bit. Mm -mm. Ah. See, I should have left it a little bit open, like with a little space in between. There we go. And then I'll squeeze them shut later. Okay. So let me hold it with my pliers because it's so tiny. I'm going to loop this in here and then loop this. I might as well do them all at the same time. Okay. And I'm going to just turn it around. Ah, it is a little bit fiddly. And I just dropped my, jump, my split ring. One second, I gotta go down to the floor and find it. You know what? I'm not gonna find it on the rug. I had made another one <laughs> before I started the video. Okay, let's let's use that one. Okay, I'm gonna draw you closer here. Okay, again, it's a little fiddly, but it's not difficult. It's just a little fiddly. Okay, so let's try it again. Now I put this one in first this time because it's thicker. Okay, and then this. And I think I'm going to use this other um, plier to help me push them through. So I'm going to hold on to this end and just push. I'm basically just pulling both of them through the... All right, maybe I'll do one at a time. Let's do the big one first. Come on, push through. You know, feeding it through the, the whole thing. Of course, it would have been easier if it had just been one jump ring, but of course, I had to go and make it a, a split ring. But the thing is that I want it to be secure, you know, I don't want it to, to um, fall off. So I'm going to keep going around until it is fed all the way there. Now it's fed all the way through. Now I'm going to do the same thing with my little charm bead dangle. Okay. And there we go. They're both all the way in there. And now I gotta squeeze this closed so that it's not, you know, all open like that. Don't want that. Okay, there we go. Squeeze shut. Sometimes you just have to really, really push it. Okay. And there we go. This is made out of a paper clip. This little um, split ring here make sure it's not sharp and there I have now this little um, charm that I can hang on it could be like a little purse charm you know like stick this on your purse or just hang it anywhere you want to decorate with this little silly little frog in these sweet <laughs> okay so I have this one I have the one with the key ring let's do another one I'll have a couple of them with the key ring let's do one more I don't want I want to keep this video short so that you can go watch everybody else's videos. But basically what I'm doing is just what I did with this, I'm doing with the little tiny one that I made. It's just fiddly because obviously it's smaller. Where's the rest of my paper clip? Okay, here's here's the rest of my paper clip. I'm gonna straighten it out. because so I wanna start from the beginning here. And let me make it a little bit bigger maybe. I'm going to the bottom of my round nose pliers to make it a little bit of a bigger circle, okay? I still want to make it double just because I feel it's more secure. Okay, and now I'm going to use, since this is a little bit here, I'm going to use these pliers to help me bend it back and forth because it's going to be hard to just do it with my finger. And I'm just basically breaking it off without using cutters just by, you know, going back and forth with it. And it's giving me a hard time. <laughs> ah, Well, there we go. The rest I'm just going to throw in the trash because it's too small to do anything with. And I've got to push that in because it's kind of like sticking out. You see how it's, how it's sticking out? So I'm just going to push it in. 
Sometimes it's easier to do it with this one. Let's push it in. There we go. See? It's pushed in. It's more circular. Okay. All right. But now I'm going to pull it all out a little bit out this way. Not, you know, not unwinding it, but pulling it out just away. Uh, da -da 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 -da. There we go. Just so that I can feed through the thing. Push it through all around, just like I did with the key ring. Just like a key ring, but it's just in a tiny scale. <laughs> and, you know, there we go. And it does look like I'm deforming the, the split ring, but it's okay, because we're going to tighten it afterwards. I just got to get it to go all the way through. Let's use the pliers to help. There we go. Now it's all the way through, right? And let's pick another one. Let's see. Let's pick another. Ooh, this is really nice, but it has... Huh, I wonder if I can feed that little tiny chain through it. Let's try it. I hadn't tried that before. Let's try it. So I'm going to try to feed that through the little chain. Ooh, yeah. It's actually easier somehow, because I guess because it's almost more fluid. Okay, is it all the way through yet? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm just going to squeeze these shut. Squeeze and squeeze. And I hope that I'm explaining myself right. If not, I hope you can see. I know it's a little bit hard. I'm trying to be close to the camera, but there we go. Yeah, all I'm doing right now is squeezing the, you know, the circle shut. And there it is. Look how cute. Just a super simple little charm decoration, you know? Another thing that I thought would be fun to do was make a chunky charm. And usually you do that by attaching these to a, um, like a chain. But I thought, I wonder if you could just attach them to each other. Like this one has um, a regular closure here. So maybe if I just open it up a little bit and maybe attach it to, say, this one. I could just chain them up that way, you know? Now this one doesn't, um, it's closed up like it's more, what do you call it, um, wrapped. So let's see if I can find another one that isn't wrapped that I can attach it to. Okay, this one isn't wrapped. So, and I'm not even looking at the colors or anything. I'm, I'm just thinking these are all like variety. So I attach this to this and I'm going to attach this to this. And do you see what I'm doing? I'm like making a chain with the actual um, loops on the actual beads. Let's see. It's this one. Yep, this one's open. So, and by open, I mean it's not wrapped. You know, I can open it up this way. Now I'm going to attach that to the green one. Okay. Because that's the last one that I added. And it's got a smaller hole so that, um, or a smaller loop, so it's going to be a little tough. But there we go. We did it. Okay, so now I want to attach another one to this one. How about, this one's a double loop. I'm going to avoid it right now, <laughs> even though I love those. And this one is wrapped, so I can't open it up. But I can open this. Oh, yeah. So I'll open this one, and I'll attach this one to that one. This one, that one, this one. <laughs> Just watch this so even though it's wire wrapped because this one isn't I can attach it there okay now I'm gonna attach one to that one and see how I'm, I'm basically adding the chain making the chain out of the loops and I think it's working just fine so now I need to definitely have one that doesn't have um, wrapping at the end this this will work it's small but it's not wrapped so let's open it and I'm just going to do it. I'm not going to do it too long. This is the last one, right? Yep. Attach it there. And then I just got to close the loop. So then the next one I have to attach to this one. Actually, let me leave it open because maybe another one doesn't have a loop and I can add it. 
Yeah, how about this one? That's got it. No, I need a smaller one. Ooh, this one's cute. And it um, doesn't have wrapping, but I already have this open, so might as well. Okay, and I'm going to add one to here. And you see how it's, it's growing, this little chunky charm? So I could go on and on like this for a while. Let's see what else. Looks like it's mainly becoming purples and greens. Uh, let's see. Okay, how about this one? This, this, which was the last one we did? This one, right? Yeah. And it does open so that I can attach maybe even one that, let me find a wrapped one that I couldn't attach to another one. Maybe that little bear. See if it'll fit. It's kind of wide, but nah. I have it wrapped like three or four times there. <laughs> Ooh, this one's cute. You know what? This two of these joined together already. I, I'm going to attach it to that jump ring there. Okay. There we go. So I have two of these wrapped together already. So I could attach the next one to either one of these two. Let's see. Something different. Oh, here we go. That one's wrapped, but let's see. Is one of these not wrapped? There were two of them. Where's the other one? Nope, th these are both wrapped. That's why I had a jump ring. Uh, oh, what about the Eiffel Tower? Yeah. Is that too, hmm, too big? Hmm, might be too big for everything else that's on there. Let's see. Okay, this is glass and it might break. I think I'm going to leave it at that for now. Ooh, look at this. Is that okay? Cool. I mean, this will be the last one, and because it has a, a loop that I, oh, it doesn't. It's wrapped. Okay. Um. Mom, mom, mom. Well, you know what? I have this one jumper right here, and this was this was actually one I made off camera when I was trying out the paper clip, and it's just a one jump on uh, a jump ring before I did decided to do the doubles. So I'm just gonna use it, and let's use it. It's nice and um strong and what was the last bead it was these right here that were on the jump ring yeah up here okay so I'm gonna put it there and then before I close it I'm gonna go ahead and attach this to it there I would prefer to have a double one, but you know what? This this um, paperclip wire is pretty strong. So there it is. So I have a chunky charm, and I can take off the keyring if I want to, but you know what? I can leave it there because it actually can be a keychain like that. So what do you think? I mean, I think it was pretty simple, a little fiddly, but not, you know, complicated. <laughs> did, did I sell you on that? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so these are my um, bead charm and clasp projects for today's collaboration. And I will have um, both Sue, uh, Susan and Sherry's videos linked below or their channels linked below. And that way you can visit the, their channels and they will have links to the other participants in this collaboration. So um, thank you so much, ladies, for hosting this collaboration. How fun. I'm so sorry that I missed the first two weeks, but I'm glad that I was able to make it here, um, you know, at least come in at the end. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a blessed day. Bye bye.